Hey folks, we're here finally. The video that you've all been waiting for. Why I quit BDO. Not really. I'm getting there. I really do feel like I'm getting there. There's nothing to do with BDO. It's just I get less and less time to play it nowadays. Um, and then like YouTube's not really earning money. So it's a bit of a hard to do. Um, but anyway, so um, without further ado, we'll get into the actual video, which is a guide on uh, bartering. So uh, this is part is basically going to be going through the basics of bartering and then we'll go into a few more things. So first things first, for your upgrading your ship, once you've got your um, sailboat, you can start doing bartering. You want one for uh, bartering with the sailboat. Uh, but if you do want to go for one of these cracks, by all means, get a frigate as well and then upgrade that. Um, I do have to say these improved versions are kind of pointless because you can skip them. But they're useful if you're wanting to be able to do dailies because the cannons can be fired from the helm. So you don't have to get off and go grab a cannon and fire at the monsters. Makes it much easier. You can move your ship around whilst sh shooting, firing. I kind of mixed two words, shiring. <laughs> um, so that that's basically here and you can see like what the stats are and how they are compared to your ship. Um, and you can click on them and it will tell you what you need to get them. But um, if I go back to the sailboat and then upgrade ship. So this is what you need to get the improved sailboat. This is what you need for the caravel. Um, you can get most of these from doing daily quests or from bartering. Uh, there's a few things you have to buy from certain places, but if you hover over it, it says uh, to obtain it from uh, Falassi. I'm not going to pronounce his first name. Um, a few of these you can get from the ship upgrade quest line. I'm trying to run through this as quickly as possible so the video doesn't take as long. So if you scroll through to the Great Expedition, there's a quest line uh, for speedy ship upgrades, the ship upgrade log. So follow these quests, seven quests, I believe the daily quests, uh, yeah. complete that then after 24 hours. So one per day and it gives you some knowledge and it does actually give you basically, I, I believe these items can be traded in if I remember correctly or you open them to get the items. It's been a while since I've done it on my main account. Uh, this is my YouTube account for doing guides. Um, right, so without further ado, you have to take out your ship and make sure you've got enough lifespan and durability. It should be rations, but it's saying lifespan because I took out the wrong one. This is why you don't call all your ships Jenny from just watching um, Forrest Gump. Uh, but yeah, so you take out the correct one. It says rations because you're rations and you can buy them. So your ship can never, well, it can die, but you can always buy it back. The cog can expire so don't, don't go with that can't be upgraded and it, it's a waste of time it's nice for getting from a to b as quick as possible but that's all it's good for um so once you've got your ship you want to go and load cargo and you'll get this interesting thing i've got no in items here but i do have items in my inventory but basically you want to hit barter information on here and now this is the barter menu so here is when you get special barters you can't get them yet don't worry about that this is the amount of uh, accumulated barters you've done. This is an important number, and I'll show you why after I've gone through this page. So this is the amount of parlay that you have per refresh, um, which is here. So the refreshes, you can refresh for 20 points. You can usually do three refreshes per day, basically. Uh, 20 points, then I think it's 40 points, then 70 points. Uh, but there's a timer, uh, so basically it's every two hours now, I think, uh, for it to be able to refresh. Yeah, two hours cooldown. But you can shorten that cooldown if you've got parlay left over. But I'd always say if you've got parlay left over, see what other barters you can do. Um, and then ship material refresh focuses on materials for your ship for upgrading. However, you need to have barter items ready for that. So don't do that to start off with. Build up your tier 1, tier 2 and everything. Um, and this is a reduced refresh. Right, so the next thing is you can search for certain ones and you can set which grades. So if you just want to do white, because obviously I need to get white ones. At the moment, I've only got a few options. So really, I can only do this one to get the Chewy Gizzard. Uh, and then that would be able to be taken up to a tier two. But that's a really bad trade, so I won't really do that to start off with. Uh, you can be fussy if you want, and you don't have to be fussy. To start off with, you'll, you'll get through your bar so quick because you don't have that many options. I mean, if I go to all grades again, I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven uh, different barters to do. Now it has given it so that I can go through all the way to make profit. 
so I can go true tree raw gizzard, then go from there to the uh, Croncastle gold coin to the lobsters fish net. Now that's a nice barter because uh, it's the one to three. Uh, up to the opulent thread spool and then on to the uh, tier five and then you can also go get some crow coins from that so it, it has the whole thing there uh, and it has a nice swap for resources if you need elder tree sap um, now I need 3000 cinnamon for the first one so I'll show you how the barters work just so I can go there so you can click the here to set your destination now there's a nice trick which I like to use if you have enough uh, of the uh, mates or butlers so most people don't talk about it they say oh you have to be at a wharf manager you don't for any of the land things you don't have to be at a wharf manager so if i go into the central market i won't be able to get all of it because i'm on the wrong character but so we're after cinnamon so we need three thousand cinnamon so three thousand bye and then what you can do is, oh yeah, this is a godsend. They've added like being able to board and disembark your ship by teleporting when you're near uh, either your ship or the wharf manager. Now I'm going to set off towards the location that I've already marked. And then I am going to open up my maids, open up my central market, and I can move 1,000. So if I had three, I could move all of them to here. Right, so the, the trick here is... If I press P, I can just click on the item that I want to put in there, and then it's on there. So for doing your tier 1 barters, from like land goods to tier 1 barters, you can quickly just move it across really quickly um, with uh, market, the central market, that's the one, uh, with the maids and the butlers. So you literally just do that. You've got them on there. And you can just go from A to B. You can just grab them along the way. So if you're doing multiple tier ones, it's really smooth. Now, I'm going to quickly go over something which is on a different page. I need to pull it over to here for you guys. So basically, I've took a screenshot just to make it easier. So uh, as it says, you, you basically need to get 70 barters to unlock the main bartering routes. And that's four different routes, basically. Um, and then once you've reached 140, you unlock special barters. So you need 140 for your special barters. Now, this is another really important one here. So brilliant rock salt ingots and pearls shards for ship material refresh at 1,000. And for trade item refresh, 1,500. These are important for making your Karak. So rather than just getting one or two daily, you can get a few through ship uh, upgrades. Gets it a bit quicker. And then... This breaks down all your bartering routes. So these are important numbers. So after doing 10 barters, you unlock two routes on the next refresh. Uh, 30 barters, three routes. 70 barters is your four routes. So that's when you've got pretty much good amount of options. Then 150 for five. So you basically unlock all 10, 20, uh, 12 routes uh, at 20,470. But basically it's kind of... Double it, add 10, is the rule for the unlocking the next one. Is legit the rule. Double the amount of barters you've already got, add 10. Um, now, this says the level 5 material barter is unlocked. Um, I think that's a bit out of date, not going to lie. Um, I think things have changed since they made this. Uh, but I think that bit's actually accurate. Um, because you... You've already got the material barters, so anyway, that's that part. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly mention, because I forgot, and before I go too far, if you don't have uh, the maids, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get used to Velia. There is no central market on Ilia, so basically you'll have to start your barter route at Velia. There is another option which can work, don't get me wrong, but it's a bit of a mess. So I still need to find all the islands because this car character isn't barred. And I've not been over here yet, apparently. Um, I believe it's around here somewhere. It would help if I had the full map, wouldn't it? Oh no, hang on, there's the world boss. So you can use Port of Area to start your barter in Korea. That's also an option. Just whilst you're setting off, doing it, because there's a central market. No, actually there isn't, is there? It's down at Calpheon, so ignore that. That was not a good idea. Velia and Ilya. 
because then you have your Ilya for your space. You have 91 spaces just from storage, and then you can always buy more. Now, there's one other thing that I want to go over, and then I'll basically cut to me grabbing the stuff from the island for bartering, uh, which is you want to get a couple of items basically to buff up your sailing. Like I said before, um, I press P, why did it? Oh, it's, I moved it down here. Uh, in my previous video, I got skilled one sailing. Now, one thing that's really gonna help is getting your sailing even higher. So increasing your acceleration, speed, turn break. Uh, basically, they all go up by 0.5 for every 50 mastery. So you want to try and get, when you can, a mana sailing book. And you can also put some life skilling stuff on to buff like the other Manos um, accessories. And obviously the sailing clothes increase your mastery as well. But we want the sailing log because this is the insane one. It adds base 15% on all the stats. I say honestly, it's the speed and like the auto sail speed and then breezy sail. So it's really going to help. Um, and then it also does mastery and XP. So all good things there's one extra thing that i need to go over but this is a paid for feature so don't worry about it if you don't pay for, to play but basically it's uh only when there's events on it's hard to get hold of i mean it comes through every so often there's one at the moment but it's quite expensive uh it's because you're buying three pets but it's actually got two pets in here that you kind of would like to get so you've got boss and jack which is the important one per tier plus 50 LT. So upgrade that to tier five and you get 250 LT on your ship, which is helpful. It can be like an extra bartering item like because you can go overweight, but by a certain amount, you can't go too overweight uh, on your ship because then you can't barter and see if ships going super slow. And Jojo, everyone wants Jojo, uh, but Jojo is basically uh, one that picks up items at a further distance, which is helpful for when you destroy uh, sea monsters because then they can go collect the loot much easier um, so you can get two out of this which is useful you can technically get the polar bear as well increase your own weight in case you want to put items on your character I don't advise it because it's inconvenient overweight like putting your character overweight um, so that's pretty much everything uh, you, you can also obviously put the land items in your character use your character's weight uh, and then just keep putting them in when needs be on your ship but land items really don't weigh that much so that won't be much of a problem and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to end this recording here because it's already 12 minutes this is what i was saying about breaking this up it'll just be way too long uh, and then i'll also just add a little bit on the end for the actual bartering to go over the menu over there right so when you do get to an island if it's a new island when you first starting out you're going to want to get off your ship jump on the island so that you can find the spectrum of knowledge and talk to the uh, node manager or wharf manager, bartering manager anyway. And then now you'll have it, the thing shown up on the map. So then you know where that island is in the future. Now, you want to press anchor. Now you can do some things other than barter when you anchor your ship. So you can explore or supply. Supply, either one that uses up 100,000 rations, which is quite a lot. So be mindful. but. Uh, supply usually gets your rations back on average you usually end up getting more than you use explore however is the fun one so I don't have any sailors so I can't do it <laughs> make sure you've got sailors on your ship it also helps with like your movement speed and everything I'll show that off in the next video because uh, there's gonna be another one after this because this one's already too long so if you barter so 300 cinnamon per one continuous exchange 10 yes so now I've got all these for goodies and I completed a few of my dailies because I always take the dailies. So uh, that's basically how bartering works. It's pretty straightforward. You just continuous exchange. Bear in mind that it does use up uh, some of your weight. So you obviously weight, but your parlay is the other one. So uh, the other way of getting into your bartering is if you go barter search here. So you can basically go on your map, barter search. You can set the next island or go back to your home island of Ilya. Um, and then just bear in mind the weight. And as you can see here, I'm now down to 871,000 parlay. 
the more you level up your bartering from doing actual barters, the more parlay you will, uh, or the less parlay each barter uses. So that's basically everything for this video. Um, as I said, there will be other videos because this one's already very long. So thank you for watching. If you've found this useful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Helps grow my channel and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.